No pros. Lux and V might be worth looking into. Father would be mighty proud. Ah, oh, Witcher, greetings. What brings you here? See you made up with your brothers. Looks like business is good. All true, all true. I cannot complain. We'd been rivals all our lives. So, at first, it was hard to agree on anything. Yet, gradually, we realized we had no other options. Suddenly, it turned out we work well together. Nice to hear. <laughs> and we've you to thank for it. Had we not met you, nothing would have come of our quarrels but heartache. Thank you, Richard. Glad I could help. Time I was on my way. Farewell. Where are you walking? What's going on? Pretty crap idea sleeping at the clogs. Unless you don't mind some clever little beast making off with your coin pouch. Ah, the notice, is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the ducal guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Ah! Hawk! Ooh! Fear! And then, whack! Thud! As if a mother bear slammed pate first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be. It doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers. Tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master.
were fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. So, noises coming from here. Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. Louis de Corentin died on the day of Saint Zoethem's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Hmm. Gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. Here lies Margot de Corentin. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Noise is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. Not right. Need to hide, see how things play out. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some. Dwarf! Disgusting! Indeed. Better to stand at the door of Lebioda's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrate, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lebioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times? Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My family's. The De Corentins. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you! And now... You would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Balhaven, I'd still be alive! 
It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself as soon as you've removed her. <sighs> Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt. After which he promptly added, for you shall have none left for me! Heretic, shut your mouth! I shall speak to you no more! No, no, it is I who shall speak to you no more, you old tart! I see you fell for that pious tart trick. Drax! Oh, well, then listen. I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. You a member? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah, once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you. Also looking for that Gwent club? What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, with a plumbing philosopher? Get the smarmy cat diddler, lads! <sighs> if I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Cards. Leaf the city through the Cooper's Gate, then we are right. Our house is easily recognized. 
A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden, beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got it. Might I ask what you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or privy. Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell. Such thing as an unsigned delay. Ah! An impression of that sort means. She said, and the Gwent cards, as promised. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clocks has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Yeah, really tough, demanding fight. Barely made it out alive. Is it your codex? Forbids you from revealing the details? For the best, I dare say. There's a small premium for you. You've earned it. Drink food! Alex, it's all I ask.